Now I'll show you how to render your work. At some point in the design process, you will want to communicate your ideas to someone who doesn't understand technical drawings. For this reason, engineers have developed visualizations, which are real-life simulations of a building, engineering structure or product. Although Revit is prepared to produce these kinds of drawings, it is not the solution I would recommend. In 2008, Autodesk introduced its most advanced rendering engine in Revit Architecture 2009. Now, thanks to this, you can create realistic images with practically no knowledge of the field. However, in making software easy, developers sacrifice some of the quality that its rendering engine Mental Ray is capable of producing with other Autodesk applications. Now, let me show you what Revit can do. Open the Rendering tab and click the Rendering dialog button. Now the rendering window appears and here you can define different options for producing new renderings. First you choose the quality and depending on which preset you use, the program will render your scene faster with lower quality or slower with higher quality. Then the next selection that we can make is the output setting and here we can define the resolution. It can be set to either screen which will set the resolution to correspond to the setting of your 3D view or camera or printer, which will allow you to set the resolution to the output values you need. Remember that the higher the resolution, the better the quality, but it will take more time for the drawing to render. Just below the output menu, we have the lighting and background settings. Here we can define how we want our environment to appear. Now we can specify what we want to render with the scheme setting. For this rendering, I'll select Sun only, because I want to render it in bright daylight. If you wanted artificial lighting to show up in the rendering, you would have to select an option including Artificial, which stands for human-made lighting. Then, we can select the desired Sun option from the Sun drop-down menu. Now we can choose among the defined presets, or go to Edit New, and define your own Sun settings. You can specify practically anything about the location where you want to place your building. For the background, you can choose among different degrees of cloudiness or define a generic sky color. Now if I click render, the program will begin the rendering process. Just as a reminder, you can only render 3D or camera views. If you want to render an, render an elevation, or a section, simply use the navigation box and set your drawing to whatever view you want to render. Just to save your time, here I've prepared for you the rendering of this scene produced with different presets. You can clearly see how the render time increases as the quality gets better. Ok, now let me show you something called the walkthrough. To speed up the process, I've already created one, so let's double click on the walkthrough in the project browser. Now if you, if you click on the view, go to edit and click play, you can watch a presentation movie for our project. This tool is very useful and you'll have a lot of fun playing around with it. I'll show you how to create it in a second. But for now, let's try rendering this movie. Well, you could go to Render tab and try rendering, but that will only produce an image of the scene that is currently displayed on the screen. The only thing you have to set here are the output settings that you want to use for each frame. However, if you want the whole animation, you have to go to File, Export, Walkthrough. When the Land Format window appears, there you can choose the options with which you want to create the movie. I'll choose all frames and make the movie with rendered frames. Now this is going to take quite a long time because the program has to render 300 images or movie frames with the quality we had set in the rendering window. So I'll just cancel the rendering and show you the movie you can get after a few hours of rendering. Here it is and as you can see it is a great tool to easily present your work. Ok, now real quick, how do you create a walkthrough? 
Well, it's easier than you think. Simply go to the View tab and click on Walkthrough. Then define your camera's path by clicking the left mouse button. When you are done, click finish and go to walkthrough in the project browser. Now you can't see much, so increase the size of the viewing window and change the shading mode. Finally, go to edit walkthrough, go to frame 1 and enjoy the animation by clicking the play button. Now stop the movie and try Revit yourself. Remember that the best way to learn is through practice.